It's the announcement that you've all been waiting for. It's the month of May, it's 2014, and it's time to start the now one month challenge, the PowerPC Promise. That's right everyone, I've upped it from a fortnight. I am going to be using my PowerPC Mac, in my case, a dual 1.42 GHz Power Mac G4 MDD for one whole month, which will be awesome. Now this is a very quick update video just to give you guys a rundown of how the PowerPC Promise series of videos, the challenge itself, is going to be conducted. Now as you guys know, I have a huge playlist called the PowerPC Promise with all the upgrade videos, talking about the G4 components, everything that I do to it, and this video is indeed in that playlist but it will be the last video in the playlist. I'm gonna start a new PowerPC Promise playlist which will just be the challenge videos. So that should be four videos. Now I'm gonna have challenge week one, challenge week two, challenge week three, and challenge week four, which will be the overall discussion of how I'm using my PowerPC Mac, talking about applications, hurdles that I've had to overcome, things that I can and cannot do, stuff like that, all the interesting stuff. I'm gonna put a lot of effort into them. They're gonna hopefully be a high production value, good video to watch. There'll be four of those, but that's not it throughout the month of May. You're gonna get four, four guaranteed videos in between those, so that's eight videos total. You're gonna get PowerPC challenge week one, then you'll get a video related to the MDD in between because I want to um, get a full idea of what it's like to video edit on the MDD so all of this stuff will be made on the MDD. Plus, I want to get about four videos out during the month of June. Now that's slightly more videos than I'd like to get out but my band are going on tour for 10 days. So I'm actually going to prepare some videos to upload in June on my G4 a little bit earlier. So I'm really going to be working that G4 hard. I'm going to be making approximately anywhere between 12 and 18 videos on that Mac ready to upload in May and June. Now any video that you see during the month of May will be edited on the Power Mac G4 whether it's a PowerPC Promise video or not. You will get those four main PowerPC Promise videos but you'll also get normal content from me in between I hope. Unless I run into major problems or major complications with video editing on the G4, then you will get usual content as well. So anything you see during the month of May will be edited on my G4, like I said. So this is an extremely simple update. This is a fantastic little series. It's going to be great, hopefully. I really want to help you guys out in understanding what it's like to use PowerPC as your main machine. There will be a conclusions video that I will make, which will be uploaded after May. It'll be uploaded during June, and that will be the main video of interest. That'll be the one where I say yay or nay. Is it possible for a certain user base? You know, is it possible for consumers, pros, whatever? That's where I really, you know, crunch all of the data down and actually decide what my opinion is on the PowerPC platform in 2014. It's only taken me two years to develop and plan. I'm trying my hardest. The G4 is up and running, ready to go. I'm super excited to do this. So guys, like I say, month of May 2014, let's do it. The PowerPC promise. Now, as usual, everyone, please head on into the video description and check out my Facebook and Twitter page. There you will get direct updates for all this stuff. If you miss the stuff on YouTube, then you'll see them on there. Tweets, Facebook updates, the usual stuff. You'll need to be able to see when these videos come out because they're going to be coming out pretty sharpish and pretty snappy. It's really important that you guys keep up with this because this is going to be one speedy and awesome challenge. So one month of using a G4, I cannot wait. I will see you guys very soon in the PowerPC Challenge Week 1.